Okay, so we're going to be making stitching holes around some shape. So we'll start by making a shape using the rectangle tool. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to increase the stroke style just a little bit, just so it's visible. Slower it a little bit more. And then now we need to offset uh, for where we want our stitches to actually be. And I want them to be an eighth of an inch in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same offsetting thing that I did in a previous video, which you should check out. It'll be linked in the description. So I'm going to duplicate, oops, duplicate. Uh, and then I'm going to set the stroke style to 0.25, which is double what I want it to be. Do stroke to path, which has turned it into two sets of paths. I'm gonna break them apart. And then I'm gonna add a stroke, but I'm gonna reduce the thickness of the line all this will make more sense if you watch the previous video. And there we go. We've got a path on the outside and a path on the inside. I don't want the outside one, so I'm going to delete it. Inside one is perfect. So now we actually need our object that we're going to pattern around, which is going to be the R stitch hole. I grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to make just a, an ellipse. Uh, we'll make it a little bit smaller. Uh, we could kind of force this to be whatever size we want it to be, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, Next, we're going to select first the path that we're going to pattern in along, which is that inset piece, and then hold shift and select the piece that we're going to be patterning around. So first, we're going to go to generate path under the extensions tab, click pattern along path, and then I'm going to click live preview and we're going to get a bug. Ah, first convert objects to paths. So what happened is that this circle is not actually in a, a condition where I can force it to be patterned along this path. It's currently saved as a circle or an ellipse. So what I need to do is with it selected, click on path menu and click object to path. It'll look like nothing's changed, but trust me, it worked. I'm gonna grab this inner one, hold shift and grab the outer one. And while we're at it, why don't I rotate this? Cause you usually don't want your stitches to actually be uh, lengthwise that way. So I'm gonna hold control Set it maybe 45 degrees or so. You could do that manually, uh, like actually force it to be 45 degrees, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Uh, grab the inner line and grab the outer one, holding shift between, go to extensions, generate from path, pattern along path, live preview. I always click live preview because I want to see what it's going to look like. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I could increase the space between the copies uh, to have more stitching or less stitching or I could decrease them uh, and it actually takes a little bit to update. So it's not totally live. Um, and I'm going to click apply. And of course it's not going to get rid of this menu. I have to exit out of it. But now I'm going to delete this extra piece. And if I select, it always grabs the pattern on top. So I'm going to lower that to the bottom so I can grab the offset line first and delete it because I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to change the stroke style back down to thin so you could actually see it. So this looks pretty good, uh, but you might want to delete some extra holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the one that has all the stitching holes. I'm going to go to the path menu and click break apart because currently they're all saved as one big path. And now I can actually select the ones I want to get rid of and delete them by pressing the delete key. All right, so that's it. Uh, if you have other things that you want to see, please leave them in the comments. If you're not familiar with that offsetting technique, please go check out this other video on offsetting, which will be in the description. All right, take care.